the Kingfisher, your tackle and bait specialist. Daiwa, feel alive. A very good morning to you guys from the Breda River Lodge and the Breda River. We've had some excellent information that the first grunt of the season have just pulled into the estuary. So, I have my good friend who's going to join me today, Mr. Mark Wolf. Good morning. Hey, welcome on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Oh no, what a pleasure. Mark runs the charter service from here and he knows all those little secret spots where we get these grunt out. So we're going to go and get some pencil bait which Mark is going to show us how to obtain. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. And then we're going to go try and catch a gruncher. And also maybe that elusive Steambrush, big nose gruncher. They are in the system. So, let's go, go do the business. Hundred percent. Let's do yeah, it. Let's go. Come on. Right, now Mark's just got a pencil bait over here. This is what it looks like. And that's your bait over there. Oh, I broke it. Okay. But anyway, uh, it's a dynamite bait for Grunter. And Mark, please explain to us how you go about getting this. I see you've got a nice little... You've got a wire with a hook. Yeah. And then you find a hole. It looks like a keel. Yes. In the sand. And you find which way the hole goes. And you push the, the wire. Turn the wire, hooks the shell, and then you pull it out the sand. But so, it would be something like... Like this. Turn the wire, pull, and slowly pull it out the sand. Am I right? That's right. Okay, cool. Right, just one thing about the pencil bait, guys. You need a general bait license permit that you get at the post office, and you allow 20 per license per day. What have we got here? Oh, look at that, yes. Baby, we got an on ya. It's definitely bigger than what we've been catching. And that was on a piece of bloodworm. <laughs> I love this light tackle fishing. And just now, oops, now I'm going to say this cherry wood Berkeley rod. <laughs> I mean, it's a six foot little rod. And it's the ideal thing for estuary fishing. Look at the bend on this rod, guys. Look, isn't it terrific? But look at it, there we go. This is that, where have we got ya? Oh, a beautiful gruncher. <laughs> look at that. Godfather style on the Breda with ASFN. Right, now let's just remove this hook. And I'm using a barbless hook. And you know, if you're into conservation, I, I don't mean you must go overboard, but you know, I've lost very few fish using a barbless hook. And I'll just show you guys. This hook, you just simply, no barb, simple as that. The grunter, they are surf, deep sea, and estuary fish. You get them from the Western Cape all the way up to Mozambique, really. Just got another towel over here. I'm going to grab the fish. Hello, Mr. Grunter. Look at that. Lovely specimen of a Breda River Grunter. And no prizes for guessing why they call him a Grunter. The spotted Grunter. First, you the spots are there. And if you listen carefully, you'll go. Grunter. Let's get this fella back in the water over here. Oops. And I'll just revive him for a little bit. Uh, on a blood whip. and what I've done is I've threaded, there's the tail section, there's the head section, 
and I've just thread it along and then out the, the sort of mouth section, pull the line tight. You can get a bait needle to thread it on, but yeah, that's perfect for me. You came off as we threw. Don't cry to mama. I basically cast it about 20 meters behind the boat. The tide has just started to come in. Oh, and again. Ha ha. Oh, no, it's not a grunter. It's one of those terrible stump nosed fish. There is such an abundance of them in this estuary system. And of course, they are like machine gun fire. Now, this is a Cape Stumpy. Remove that nice little hooker. And you'll see I'm always handling my fish with a glove that's wet or a towel that's wet. And like I said, it's protecting the fish. Right, let's get this fellow back. And away it goes. The style. So I told you guys it's windy. We got some <laughs> we got some holiday makers on the opposite bank over there. And they're busy packing up. And <laughs> A gust of wind came and lifted the umbrella up, but now it's, uh, yeah, it's an upside down <laughs> little floating thingy. It's called the ASFN Rescue Service. We're gonna go catch an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is on, Dad. A proper fish. This fish was hooked on a on a bloodworm and mud prawn bait. And I tell you what, it takes a lot to beat light tackle fishing. Important to remember, especially for you youngsters, always keep your rod up so that your tip acts as a shock absorber, as you can see over here. And what have we here? We got what we refer to as a steam tray. It's a big nose grunter. When they take the bait, they charge off with it. Yes, please. ASFN. That is a, such a beautiful, pretty fish.